Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and today I'm going to give you a comparison between two different Amazon Kindle products. Amazon Kindle for PC and the Kindle Cloud Reader. Let's start with Kindle Cloud Reader. It's basically a browser based solution that you could read virtually in any web browser both on the computer, on the Mac, on Android devices or iOS devices. A lot of people now use this to read books at school or at work because you may not be able to download dedicated pieces of software, but you should be able to download uh, or at least read books in a cloud. Um, so let's look at the UI here, Kindle logo. If you click here, it'll open up a website that gives you all the notes and highlights that you've made and all of the different books that you own. You, there's a sync button if you've made purchases from the Kindle store and you want to sync them to your library. There's a gearbox here, basically terms of use, privacy. You don't want to really be interested in that. If you have a huge library, you can search for, for particular titles using the search bar. Oh, what's this? The Kindle store. You mean I can buy books in Kindle Cloud Reader? No, it brings you to the Amazon Kindle website. But if you buy books here and you know complete a purchase, uh, you just click that sync button and they would all be here. Uh, there's two different ways to look at cover art, but let's look at something that you could do here. You can actually make the cover art much larger, but hey, that looks pixelated. And I'm on a 4K monitor, so it shouldn't. Uh, how do we bypass the pixelation issues? Well, you can look at it as like a list view. And as you can see, everything kind of looks good here. You can sort by uh, recent author or title. These are books that I own that are stored in the cloud. This is the single book that I've actually downloaded. So we'll look at the reading experience in a second. First of all, let's look at Kindle for PC. And the UI looks significantly different. First of all, it has a dark mode. You can sort by the same recent things as you want. Same with gridded and list view, but it actually shows you percentages. It shows you if a book is a sample or not, something that uh, the Kindle Cloud Reader does not do. Uh, search by title or authors, and the same thing if you click on the Kindle Store, you're brought to the Kindle Store. So, you know, both things handle it the exact same way. Where do you download Kindle for PC? Well, not from the Microsoft Store. There's a lot of clone apps here, but you actually have to go to uh, the Amazon website and down it, down, you know, download it directly through them. There's file where you can open a book, remove from device, establish a new collection, import collections, or import a PDF. You can actually import PDF files from your PC uh, to your Amazon account. On view, you can sort by you know, recent title author. Cover size, you can make them large or you can make them really big. And as you can see here, there's not a lot of the pixelation issues that we've noticed in kin uh, the Kindle Cloud Reader. Tools, manage your content devices will bring you to the device manager page on the Kindle website. Single, a ch sync and check for new items if you bought anything from the Kindle store that I showed you below. And some options. Enable page turn animation. Let's do that. That will maybe look pretty. Uh, annotations, whether you want them, dictionary preview, proxy networks, and stuff like that. So let's look at a book. Uh, some new features that Amazon made, flashcards, etc. So as you can see here, you can click down, you scroll down on the mouse and it makes, uh, you know, turns the pages, scroll up at the mouse and it makes pages. Uh, you can click on the book here, like on the page turns. So this would work if you are on a Windows touchscreen device, like, um, you know, anything modern Windows that has like a touchscreen, you could just like click on that to turn the pages. Sync button, you can go ba back you can go back to the library page, which is we were at before. Table of contents. Go to a particular, you know, thing. Search. Flashcards. Uh, something that you'll be 
pretty well doing right away when you're using Kindle for PC for the first time is uh, optimizing your reading experience. You can change fonts and it'll change it live. We can just go with Bookerly. Uh, whether you want the, the alignment justified or left align. Line spacing. Do you want the spacing between words larger or smaller? I, I guess it depends like it, what type of screen size you have on your laptop or two in one or desktop monitor. I mean, I'm on a 27 inch monitor, so I could have everything jacked up and it looks good. Uh, page width, as you can see, it's live here. So small if you're like, you know, on a, like an old Windows phone or something, but you can kind of configure it any way that you want. You can actually configure the brightness, which is kind of cool. You can change the background to white, to black. So this is something that Kindle users will notice that you can do. Or sepia, which Kindle app users will do. Uh, what are some options here other than, you know, two page spread, multiple page spreads and so on? Uh, well, you can, uh, you can left click on a word and you actually have multiple highlight options here. You can add a note. Here is my deathly note. Shows a little note icon here. You can delete that note if you want. You can look a word up in the dictionary. So maybe uh, I don't live in the US. I've never heard of Wisconsin before. Well, I have, but let's say that I haven't. Uh, click on the dictionary. And then you can click on the full definition and it'll load up the new Oxford Dictionary here. Let's click back. So yeah, search the web, search for Wikipedia, search within the book. Uh, it, you know, your notebook and flashcards are here. It shows you all the highlights that you've made within the book right here. So this is something new that they've added. I can add a bookmark and it'll add the bookmark here. You can export everything that, all the notes and stuff I made here into a dedicated file if you want to. Kindle for PC, it's fairly versatile and you know, uh, Amazon is updating this on a regular basis. I believe that as of, let's see, June 5th, they have actually updated it today. So that's pretty cool. Whereas Kindle Cloud Reader, I believe it's more like lackluster. So this is the, let's go to the same page that we were at for uh, Kindle for PC. So these are all the changes that I like I've made. Um, so what are some options? Well, you, things that happen don't high, you know, the options that you make do not transpirely live on the screen. They do it in this little preview window here. So depending on how big or small you want the text to be, how big the margins you want. This is similar to the screen size of your device. I'm on a pretty big monitor, so full. Uh, white, sepia, and black. It's the same thing as uh, Kindle for a PC, but you get it in a preview window here. Uh, one column only, on or off. This basically gives you a two-page spread, so we can show you what that looks like. So this is a two page spread. Again, you can click in the middle and then you can hide, you know, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to change the uh, page. And then it also has physical page turn buttons here. But as you can see that the, you know, this menu keeps popping up, at least on the PC. So let's change it to one column only. It's easier to read, I think. And then you can kind of just scroll. Uh, what can you do with words? Well, you you know basically single click, single left click, and you get the dictionary. Few full definition happens right in here. You're not diverted to like a website or something like that. Uh, there's a few different dictionaries here that you can you know engage in if you want. There's a close button. If you want to highlight, there's basically only one highlight option compared to Kindle for a PC, which gives you four. So just the typical, you know, yellow highlighter, you know, the kids use in schools. 
You can write a note. There you go. And that appears there. As you can see, as I'm changing things, but as you know, the UI doesn't appear. It's not really until like I start moving my mouse around does that appear. I wish they kind of did it where like you have to double click, you know, sort of like the Kindle where if you double click the center uh, of the screen, then the UI appears rather than like the UI appearing whenever you bring the mouse or if you're on a computer, like a laptop, you start using a trackpad, all of this stuff sort of starts appearing. So we've looked at Kindle for PC and we've looked at the Kindle Cloud Reader. I believe that the Kindle for PC provides just a way better experience, better options, more, you know, more of everything, you know, and it's, it's like way more intuitive to basically to read books the page churn animations that we turned on you know it's not like anything like that but hey I mean we can just grab it and change the screen by just like holding it down so yes I believe if you're reading on your PC and you have the ability to download apps I would download for Kindle for PC rather than using the Kindle Cloud Reader. Like I said, it's Kindle Cloud Reader is only really kind of important if you're in an environment that does not allow you to install, uh, you know, install apps or you're forced to read in the browser uh, for a myriad of reasons. So this has been my point of view. Let's hear yours. Drop a comment below. And for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care. <laughs>